Wondering what you need to do with QuickBooks to handle the new CIS VAT changes? Well, watch on. As a business accountant, my team and I spend all day long helping business owners on their journey. Right now, during March, there's been some massive changes to the way VAT works in the construction industry for many of you. And as a result, you're gonna to need to make some practical changes to how your software works in order to handle this. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So let's get on with it. So this is a screen on QuickBooks you might see. Uh, initially, you're gonna see your dashboard, but I've done it on here so that we don't have too much data on here. But so basically, the way you turn on the DRC, the domestic reverse charge rates, is you go into taxes and go to VAT, and this is what you will see. You then go up here and you go to edit tax, edit rates, and what it will do is it will give you all the potential rates that you've got turned on right now. Now, your screen might look slightly different because this is something that's been ported over from a desktop version that's quite old, so it's got more rates than you might see. You might see a smaller amount, but you click this little cog here and click include in active, and it will give you all of them. And what you're looking for, further down here, you'll see domestic reverse charges, standard and reduced. So you can turn those on um, and then they'll be there. So there's your domestic charge for one, domestic charge two, and then if we look down, you'll see that, okay, we've got everything we pretty much want on. So that's all good, so there you go. So you've got those turned on, you're now ready to go. Now, I just wanted to show you one other thing. So when you've got those codes turned on, if you now go into your invoice in here, and you, in the normal manner, get to your invoice, if I just show you, if you just had one on here for 100 pound, your code comes up as RC, reverse charge CIS. It's really important not to use this one. And actually in the tax rates, you can turn this off so you don't get this by mistake. But this is another code used when we were trading with Europe and, and other places like that. So um, what you wanna use here is this RC CIS, depending what your supply was. So if you normally charge VAT at the full rate, if you charged VAT at the 5% rate previously, you'd use that. Now, one thing, if you do normally do something like a new build, so you've got zero rated, uh, VAT, you're generally going to use the same code that you used to use. And again, yours might look slightly different, but if you did have a zero rated code, you would use that. But for the new, where you would normally charge 20%, and now you're charging this, make sure you use this code. And what you'll see is the VAT's gone. There you go, that's it. Now, one of the things, as we record in this video, that this doesn't do, which we've seen occur some issues with some of the people you might be billing, is you should have here, really, on the message on the invoice, uh, a statement that says that this invoice is subject to the domestic reverse charge. There's some actual wording that needs to go in there. And currently, so this is March, just as it's become a new thing, QuickBooks doesn't automatically fill this and that can cause you problems. So one thing I would suggest is that you put some other word in and I'll put some notes in the comments to the type of wording you could use that you'll just wanna put in this message on the invoice. Otherwise you might encounter issues with some very picky suppliers. We've seen it with clients already. So there you go, there's some tips. This is what you need to do inside of QuickBooks.